What's going on guys, my name is Garrett and today I'm going to be continuing my app UI design series and showing you guys how to design an app and the user experience, the user interface for it. Um, if you haven't checked out the videos before this one, please go do that. Um, but I'm going to continue on and we are moving into actual color design and we're done with wireframing for now. Um, and anything else I'd probably just sketch out really quick and then explain it to you guys but this is basic basic wireframing it could be a lot more um, it could be a lot more intense and complicated than this but I just do this just to get a feel for things um, so let's start with the sign up page shall we um, I was thinking in the background here I'd want like a bunch of books maybe I don't know trying to see see how that would look um, but I thought that would be cool if there was like a bunch of books in the background um, anyways let's start and what's really cool about doing your wireframings on a computer is that you can just do this you can just copy it over and then you can use what you got already and just change color and your spacings all there and it's great something in my computer just freaked out. Alright, there we go. So I'm thinking let's find that, that a nice orange. I think I said I wanted to use orange. Let's see. Ooh, there's an orange in here that looks good. Ooh, those are nice oranges. Super clean. I like it. Anyways, let's see if we can grab it. <laughs> grab something like that. And maybe... I know we wanted to go with iOS 7, but I'm a huge fan of like making things look like they have depth so I'm thinking maybe you want to do something like like that and it looks super good I love that oh that's beautiful looks nice and now maybe do I always like to use a little bit of drop shadow and this is the settings I use on I use I do movement or whatever this directional I just put it as one the opacity or opacity however you want to say it is 20 percent uh, the spread is one and the angle is 270 degrees and if you look at that it looks really nice I like that a lot it looks really cool I'm digging it all right now let's see this background Maybe we'll just keep it white. And we're going to need to change this to this orange. Oh, that didn't work. I'm going to change it to that orange. Beautiful. Super cool. And I like to use, where's that color? My favorite. No, that's too light. That'll probably be okay. I, I love using just one brilliant color and then a, a nice gray. I just think that looks really nice. Or you could do a darker gray. You could do something like that. Let's do that. It's easy to read. Um, let's see how we want to make these. Let's go find a cool one. Ah, <sighs> Form. Alrighty. Let's see. I was thinking something like this, actually. Just like this. Let's see. P 
pretty similar to this. Let's see, oh, I like these colors. I think I like that better. The heck? Is that not the same? Oh, it is the same. Okay. That works. I'm actually thinking maybe even a little lighter. That looks nice. Just very subtle, very clean. I like that. Let's grab this color here. Or uh, it's going to be too light. Let's see. They did that. That looks good. And then we're going to do that same thing up here with this guy. Do that. Something like that. This nice great this nice little thing. I've done that so many times I've got it like memorized. Let's see, do we want this to have here, I'm actually gonna get rid of that and paste it back in. Cause I'm thinking I want this to have its own That looks good. We'll just keep it like that. Yeah, that looks nice. Cool. And then, um, now I want to do like a Facebook button. So I'm thinking, there's a Facebook color. Um, let me see. Facebook button. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can just get it though. Let's see. taking a little long but Twitter has got that like turquoise color thing going on that's like Twitter this one could do that but then be darker or vice versa something like that Something like that is nice. I think I want to move these over just a little bit. How the height is 40, height is 40, height is 40, height is 40. Okay. Cool. Um, that looks nice. 
I want to get the icons in there. So what I do is I just go Facebook. Well, for Facebook, I could just put the F, which is that. And I believe it's close to Helvetica. Um, Still a little big. Something like that. And then Twitter. My gosh, that's huge. That'll work though. It's just humongous. And then what I can do is I can just let's see where it is. I always forget where the paint bucket tool is on here. Wow, I feel like a moron right now. There it is. Um, that'll do fine for now. little bird and I can't get it to really center there we go um, nice that looks really nice I like it cool let's go ahead and save and I think that'll be all for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Uh, if you haven't watched the videos prior to this one, please go ahead and go do that. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.